Welcome back to Squawk Box. Our next guest is calling on the entire fitness industry to mandate vaccines for COVID-19 in a survey of its membership class pass, finding that 86% of respondents would be more likely to come back into in-studio fitness classes if the vaccine were required. And 38% simply do not want to come back until vaccines are mandated. Class Pass CEO Fritz Landman joins us right now. Fritz, uh, it's a fascinating survey. I'm curious what you're hearing from gym owners across the country. Yeah, well, we are just publishing this data literally on this broadcast. And right afterwards, I'm sharing the survey results in a blog post. And it'll really be the first time that we've shared this information. We, we had no idea when we went out to survey our customers. Uh, and we were ecstatic that, you know, not because of political reasons or ethical reasons, but because customers are overwhelmingly vaccinated in the studio fitness industry. And, and, and you know, obviously we have gyms and pools and other types of customers. And they prefer prefer vaccination mandates. And that's the key to bringing people back to classes and, and fitness. But, but I assume you've talked to a bunch of gym owners that are part of your network over, over the past you know, year now about mandates and the like. And, and what, what's the kind of response you've heard? I think there's been a lot of questions, right? So really, it's come up in the, in the context of government-imposed uh, restrictions. So you know, different people have had different feelings about vaccine mandates, mask mandates, six feet apart distancing rules, capacity restrictions. But our data suggests that the only thing that's going to work are vaccine mandates. 38%, uh, percent, you know, as you said, of customers won't go back without some form of a vaccine mandate. 59% don't want a mask. Customers don't believe that six feet apart is going to keep them safe. They do believe that vaccines are going to keep them safe. And so they're asking uh, you know, uh, owners to uh, impose these restrictions so that they can come back to class. They won't come back until they feel safe. Where do you stand on things like testing, perhaps uh, in lieu of mandates or potentially in certain cases in addition to mandates? I will tell you, for example, I am completely vaccinated and there was a window this summer where I actually went to Barry's boot camp a bunch of times. But now that we're starting to see uh, breakthrough cases and the like, you know, Barry's, you're, you're on top of each other in a place like that. And I keep now thinking to myself, you know what, maybe not such a great idea right now. Yeah, well, you're absolutely right. I mean, you're reflecting the sentiments of our customers, even if they if they are vaccinated. Again, over upwards of 93 percent of our customers are vaccinated or in the process of getting vaccinated. If there is a bad COVID outbreak, they simply won't go to class. Um, and so it's, it's a combination of requiring these vaccines, but also getting the case loads, loads down that I think is going to be required. The good news is when we see a customer go back to one fitness experience, they tend to go back at 110% of their pre-pandemic uh, uh, workout regimen. So people are very keen to get back into these, into these experiences, but if they don't feel safe, they, they, they simply won't go back. And that and was so going to be my final question.